Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, you, know, you hear me say it plenty of times, but we're so fortunate to live in an area of the country we do when it comes to the arts, when it comes to nature, and when it comes to history. And joining me today is the superintendent of the Saratoga National Historical Park, Amy Bracewell. Welcome, Amy. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, let's maybe put this in perspective a little bit. The Battle of Saratoga, in the opinion of many historians, may be one of the most important battles in the history of the world. Well, that's a kind of an interesting claim to make, wouldn't you say? It is. I it know. is uh, amazing to have this in our backyard, but what important history of America took mm -hmm. place right here. Right here in Saratoga. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Um, well, now we dig into this a little bit. I know we've all heard of the Battle of Saratoga. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason that they're saying it's one of the most significant battles in the history of the world is that it was the turning point, correct? Really the turning point. In what way? How, did, how, how was it a turning point, Amy? Well, in many ways. Uh, it was the first time in the history of the world that the British Army surrendered to the opposition. Right. Um, so General Burgoyne surrendered his army uh, at Saratoga right. after an American victory. And after that, uh, because of the victory, it convinced France to get involved in the Revolutionary War mm -hmm. on the American side and really gave a boost uh, to our support. Right. You know, uh, General Burgoyne, by the way, was traveling down. He was coming down from the north. And the reason he was moving the army from the north to come south was basically to form a divide in the American right. troops between New York and New England. Right, so, and nobody, he fully expected that he would be able to do that. And here come the, the Americans, yes, right? Yes, our Continental Army. Our Continental, that's, yes. what, that's the word I was searching <laughs> for there. The Continental Army said, uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Now, uh, Saratoga, th were there two battles? There were. Okay, there were, what there were There was they? a battle in September and October of 1777. Right, and the combination of the two of those is what caused this to be the turning point in the war. That's right. And another point that you made, which is very important, is that the, uh, the army couldn't do it on their own, the Continental Army. They really needed France, and France was hesitant to join because mm -hmm. they didn't think that they could pull it off. And then all of a sudden they did, and they came in, and that really, of course, changed the tide of history. Absolutely. Right? Isn't yes. that something? Um, now, uh, I've read at uh, different times about 1,500 soldiers lost their lives between the Continental Troops and the English. Is that, is that right? I believe so, yes. Okay. We have historians at the park that um, are very knowledgeable about these things and um, have also done the research into each regiment mm -hmm. of the Continental Army and, and who they lost right. and the sacrifices that many of our states made mm -hmm. on behalf of the larger country. Um, my wife and I go through the park frequently. It's, there's, some, there's a solace about this park and you also really get the feeling that you're on sacred ground you know um, yes now the park itself is like it's almost 3,000 acres mm -hmm. right uh, right outside of Schuylerville 3,000 acres you just got a, another additional 170 acres yes right to the north that's adjacent to this this property it is uh, but when you're on the property there are a number of places lookouts what would you call those stops we have yes 10 tour stops on our tour okay. road and at each stop, there is something significant related to the Battle of Saratoga or the history of our country. Um, I'm thinking of that beautiful red cottage that's there. Yes, the Nielsen House was there at the times of the battle right. and was uh, right in the center of the American camp mm -hmm. uh, during that time. And then the tour road follows the progression of the battles mm -hmm. uh, as it uh, unfolded on the landscape. And there are two fences that seemingly are in the middle of no place, right? You know yes. what I'm talking about? <laughs> and, but they, they're designations for where the front lines were for the British and for the Continental Army. That's right. There's a blue uh, That's right. identified fence line and a red fence line for both sides to show you where those front lines were on the, the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then, of course, you know, there was no technology. 
Uh, it was sight, so you would get to a promontory point. That's why so many of these lookouts or stops along the way of this tour mm -hmm. are just stunning. You cannot believe the vistas of the valleys and the river, but it was to get gain a military advantage. That was it, right? No stealth, no nothing. Yes, they were done. Radar. <laughs> they were done strategically, uh, looking right. over the Hudson River. There's a natural bottleneck also right. at That's that right. place. Uh, where the Americans had the upper hand to see anything coming down the Hudson or on the road. Right. Well, this is this that turns the tide of the battle. It really does. Now, uh, it's Kids to Park Day. It's coming up Saturday, the 20th. Kids to Park Day. It's a whole day of activities related to the Battle of Saratoga set in a way that's fun for kids, right? Yes. Tell us a bit about the day. Well, you had mentioned it's a 3,000-acre battlefield, but right. it's also home to wildlife, um, all sorts oh, of plant -like natural sure. plants. Right. Uh, so Kids to Park Day is a national initiative to get kids outdoors. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a lot of activities that day. We have a 10 a.m. Uh, nature walk mm -hmm. to see what kind of animals and plants are out and about. Mm -hmm. We also have a self-guided scavenger hunt for kids mm -hmm. uh, so that they can look for the history and the nature in our park. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a self-guided activity book, our Junior Ranger program. Oh, that's exciting. And if they finish the book, uh, they'll earn a free Junior Ranger badge. Can I get a Junior Ranger badge? Can if I you get earn, one? If you earn <laughs> the act, if you earn it. <laughs> they can say, who's that old kid over there, right? <laughs> um, you know, the, you hear me say this a lot, but it's a wonderful opportunity. Take your children, take your grandchildren out to uh, this really sacred place. Um, you really have to go, if you haven't been there, you really have to go to see how spectacular it is. But it's an opportunity to teach your child or your grandchild something about nature there. That's right, because it's an amazing nature preserve as well. Something about the history of our own country and spend the whole day out there, right? Wouldn't you yes. agree? Yes, we have so much to explore from the nature yeah. to the history mm -hmm. um, in ways that kids really enjoy. Well, you know, Amy, we're going to have Amy back again because all summer long, uh, they have activities going there. They have reenactments of battles there. They have all kinds of things. You have craftsmen out there during the summer. You have all kinds of things. We do. We have living history events uh, throughout the summer. We have something almost every weekend right. from now until October. Um, so we encourage people to come out often mm -hmm. to see different aspects of the park. A great way to find out about this, NPS, which stands for National Park Service, right? Yes. NPS.gov slash S-A-R-A for Saratoga. NPS.gov slash Saratoga. And you can find out about all the activities. But get out there on Saturday the 20th with your family and really begin to understand why this place is so significant. Amy, yes. pleasure to meet you. Great. Look forward to having you back again Thank you so over much. the summer. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.